Hi there, this is Jane Ann, and I have a haul video to show you. I take a trip down to Illinois, I live in Wisconsin, every month, once a month, to get groceries for my mother <clears throat> and help her. And um, on the way down, I have various uh, thrift stores that I stop. There's at least 10, 10 to 12 different stores that I stop along the way, and I really enjoy going to them because their prices are so good. Um, even some of the Goodwills, I stop at two or three different Goodwills and um, the prices are really reasonable. And um, it seemed, um, I went there yesterday, got got back Friday night, uh, went there Thursday and got back Friday night and um, so I was there a oh, day and a half and um, it seems like every store I went where I went, there were glasses. This was the trip for glasses and glass sets, which was, is fine with me because I do really well with glasses. Um, I got a lot of dishes this this trip, and I'll start by showing you this one. This is a platter. It's got like a starburst pattern on it. Um, it's really pretty. I like the, the design here. And also, at another thrift store, let's see, I paid 75 cents for this. And at another thrift store, I got this to match. And this was a dollar. It's like a little um, a juice uh, pitcher. And I just thought that was really neat together. It kind of has a mid-century 1950s, 60s look to it. And I'll just set this over here. And then I got this beautiful set of glasses with a carrier. I'm in really good shape. Each glass has got leaves on it. It's kind of frosted. They're tall and thin and I just love glasses and their carrier. They do really well, the glass sets, if they're in a carrier. Um, I paid, um, I actually paid $12 for this. I paid a little more than I wanted to, but because these sell so well for me at good prices, I picked it up and it was in really good shape. Set that over there. And then I got this little glass pig. He's just kind of like a paperweight. He's really cute. Anything in an animal shape that's art glass does really well. And then I got um, these little cups. Um, Royal Ruby. Um, they're just really pretty. You can see through them. There's a really deep red. I got um, six of these. I paid two dollars a piece for them. I paid a little more than I wanted, but because it's the Christmas season, they sell really well. So I picked those up. And then I got six of these little goblets, like a dessert goblet. So cute. And I got six of these. It says Merry Christmas on it. A clear little drinking glass. I paid two dollars for six of them, which was a really good price. Um, won't this look cute with apple cider in it, um, or even hot chocolate? Yeah, I have two antique booths, um, not too far from each other. I'd say about 30 miles from each other, um, and I have so much fun with them. I have one, I took a video of one of the booths, but I'll be taking a video of the other booth um, sometime soon. And they keep me very busy, both booths. Um, also, I picked up these. These were, it was $2 for the whole set. This is solid, these are solid brass goblets. Really pretty, really good shape. Um, should sell really well this time of year. Anything gold or red does really well around the holidays. Set these over here. The other thing I got was a little salt and pepper shaker set. Kind of a frosted green glass. The crack, the tops are kind of cracked, but that's okay. I only paid a dollar, uh, fifty cents each, so there was a dollar for the both of them. They're really cute, and salt and pepper shakers do really well in my boot fossil. And then I got another set of glasses. Like I said, this was the trip for glasses, drinking glasses, and cups and goblets. 
these are really neat um, in really good shape they're not faded um, or scratched when um, they're paint they have paint on them I always watch to make sure that they're not faded or um, some of the paint is missing but these were in really good shape paid uh, two dollars for all of these the whole set and then I got this set um, I never come across any of these sets but I was really glad that I did this is kind of like a bubble a bubble coin type glass green from like the 1960s 70s I paid three dollars for that whole set at one of the thrift stores I was really excited about that I'll probably put that in my booth well probably next summer I think this will sell better in the warmer weather when people are out on their patios and then I got another set and I just love this one this one is so unusual there's six glasses with this set there's a lot of glasses here I arranged this so it looks nice and I paid three dollars for this whole set as well kind of like a a crinkle glass by Anchor Hawking um, it's from the 1960s just a real funky looking set and I'll probably wait till next spring to put this out in one of my booths All right, I'll set that aside then I got this set of wheat cups I paid a dollar for all three of them um, wheat seems to be popular right now and then I got this little bucket glass bucket with a red handle kind of like a planter or you could put anything in there it was only a dollar no chips or cracks I don't like to get things with chips or cracks unless they're really cheap um, I like my things to be in really good shape when I put them out and then I got this bowl with the lid this is um, by um, Anchor Hawking and it has a lid with it in really good shape no chips or cracks I like the flower pattern on this one really cute by Anchor Hawking and I just love this this set if I can get it all in the camera here um, this is a snack set and it, it rotates like a lazy Susan kind of mid-century I believe this is from the 1950s it has a little bowl that comes out and all these little pieces come out it's just I love the design in here the little lines and it just rotates I paid two dollars for this this whole set here I just love it it is gorgeous and then I got this lovely fondue set which they do well in my booths if they're if they're an interesting unique color get the other part here um, and this one is just so pretty I love the orange and orange is back in and green Let's see if we can get all that in there there we go isn't that just lovely there are no scratches or anything on it, it even came with the box it has the wrapping in it and the directions here fondue recipes this one was from Kmart so I have the whole thing in the box and I paid uh, I believe I paid three dollars for this this whole set okay. and then I picked up these this set of glasses um, Glasses, old glasses in the case do well for me. I paid 50 cents for this. Um, it has the case with it. Some old wire glasses. People love these. They love them to um, dress up with. And then I got this uh, set of pillowcases. $2 for the pair. And you can see there's just kind of lacy on the edge and pillowcases do really well for me and these have just kind of a vintage look to them 
really nice. And I got these silhouette pictures. They were two dollars. Um, just really cute. I think they're from the 1930s or 40s. Um, look how cute they are. The little boy is pulling a little toy and he's got his light. And there's some a couple other kids. It's really cute. And I was really excited to find this. When I find these, I always pick them up. This is a wool blanket. Really good shape. There were no holes or anything. And what's really neat about this is it's Pendleton. If you ever come across Pendleton wool blankets, pick them up, even if they're a little bit damaged. Um, they are really popular blankets, made really well. People like the Pendleton company, and uh, they are just just made really well. This one I paid seven dollars for, and I hope to get sixty, seventy for this. It's really, it's quite large, really good shape. And the last item I want to show you is this picture. I don't know why I picked this up. I just really liked it. It's just a funky, funky looking picture. Let's see if I can can't zoom out anymore, so I'll just have to pull it back a little. There we go. Isn't that funny? I need to fix it. It's kind of loose in one corner, but there we go. A funky flower picture with yarn. How much fun is that? That'll look just great sitting on a shelf with my crinkled, funky looking glasses, glass sets. I just love the 60s and 70s and all the funky stuff and the fun colors. They were, it was such a colorful time period there. Um, and I think those colors are all coming back. People are buying more of this kind of stuff. Oh, there is one more thing I'd like to show you. Talk about fun and interesting. Let's see if I can get this here. I paid three dollars for this. This hanging light. I know I won't be able to get it all in the uh, camera, but isn't that just the ugliest thing ever? It is so ugly. It's neat. I just love it. When it's lit up, it's just beautiful. It's huge. I paid three dollars for it. I hope to get about eighty-five to hundred. It just it has a hanging, has a chain that it hangs from. So okay. Well, that was my haul, and I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for joining me. And um, and be sure to look for other videos that I have. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.